without further ado, here we go. So this is the beginning of the flower garden. For those of you who know already, this is of course the memorial garden I planted for my mother. Uh, the summer of 2018, now the summer of 2019, um, sh shortly after we lost her to dementia. So I've got a lot of new stuff planted and so, and I'm gonna put Shasta daisies and poppies in and I've got some tricks to really make them speed up. Here's the knockout roses that were cut back quite a bit this winter. It's the first time I've really cut them back in years. This is a Floribunda somehow in the mixture, but it's all starting to bloom, so I'm not real worried. I'm sure they'll be full and ready to go. The yucca, well, for a desert type heat plant, doesn't look like this winter hurt it much. But then again, in Delaware, you know, we don't have winters like Oklahoma where I'm from. Here's some hydrangeas. This one didn't bloom last year because I think the year before I had pruned it too harshly. These are the ones that are the big purple blooms. So let's see what we've got here. It's early morning. I'm waiting for the septic tank guy to get here. Um, I've never seen anyone pump a septic. It's the first time I ever had a septic. But not that I want to smell it, but I want to see where it's at because I believe it's located where I normally plant veggies. So we've got tulips coming up. My daffodils haven't bloomed yet. They're about to. But the ones in Oklahoma at my friend's house are blooming. I'm so jealous. These are the big cannas still sleeping. We've got more daffodils coming up. This year, new to the garden, is the giant allium. And they are coming up also. These will have big purple heads on them and get pretty tall. So they're coming up nicely. The tulips, of course, which I have every year, they've been thinned and they're still coming in thick as usual. We got more tulips coming up over here. The giant red ones. These are going to be the cream with the purple stripes. Under here is going to be all those beautiful wine colored lilies eventually. The lilies are going to be a little bit later and starting to sprout. I'm trying not to do too much. I'm going to plant Shasta daisies through this area because I really don't want to disturb any of the bulbs, especially since we're, it's not April yet and sometimes we get one of those really nasty cold snaps and freezes. But while I'm out here today, I'm going to fill my bird feeders because in less than 48 hours, those little piglets have sucked them dry. I also put a lot of stuff down on the grass, ground for the bigger birds, but damn, they're piglets. Giant holly tree, green all year round. There's the other one. This is an old, I think, oak or elm that Paul never took the trunk out when he cut it down. So that's what it is. I haven't minded it all these years because it makes a nice little shade clump, but now it's so tall that it's starting to shade things in my garden and you just don't mess with my garden. And for any of you who know or remember, this is a little maple tree that someone gave me in a little three gallon bucket and it lived in there. I don't know how long they had it in there, but a good two and a half, three years with me, I had to saw the bucket off. It seems to be doing quite nice. Here's where the garden was, veggie garden was this last summer. But as there's a nice divot here in the yard, I have a feeling that this is where he's going to be digging. I've been here 10 years and the septic's never been pumped. I think Paul's here three or four years before that and he had never had it pumped. It's not backing up, but it's slow to drain and I'm sure some of that's my fault. Not because of poops, but because of the extremely long hair I've always had. And no matter how good you are at catching it and cleaning the drain, it gets down there. So. Who knows, it could be a whole new animal down there by now. Anyway, I gotta go clean up some of those pallets over there and I'll keep you posted if, on the latest poop. Ha ha, yeah, that's not very funny, but uh, if anything interesting happens today, I'm gonna go do some hard labor. Might film a little bit about, bit about that, but I seem to curse a lot when I'm doing building things. So I'm trying to have a clean channel here, but then again, 
when you're born to curse like a sailor, you just curse like a sailor. Anyway, welcome. Happy spring. First Monday of spring. Fields getting a little green. Pretty soon it'll be all lush and lovely and I will be in my element. Bye for now.